In a 503, and let's uh, continue our team coverage of the heat and its effects. Look at the power outages map from PG&E. Mm. Power is back on now for a good majority of the Bay Area that was experiencing multiple outages yesterday. Uh, we are seeing much smaller ones now, if any, than we saw on Labor Day. Yeah, right now you can see those green and yellow indicators. Green meaning areas where 1 to 50 customers are without power, but those yellow diamonds represent anywhere from 50 to 500 customers without power. So still quite a number of viewers out there dealing with power issues this morning, despite the fact that we're seeing at least fewer cases than we saw yesterday. Cal uh, state officials, power officials are calling on all of us to try and save as much as we can, uh, especially today, as yeah. we're expecting temperatures to be the hottest that we've seen all week. So let's head to one of those hot spots. Ground Force Will Tran in Livermore. Hi, Will. This is particularly a hot spot because I just spoke to some residents, James and Daria, and they told me that their power actually went out even earlier than we thought. We are hearing as late as 10 o'clock last night, but the people I spoke to, they told me that their power actually went out at around 6 o'clock yesterday evening. So now we're talking about uh, 11 hours into it. The math isn't good. About 11 hours, and get this. They told me PG&E told them that they won't have the power back until at least 3 o'clock this afternoon. I tried to interview this man. He would not go on camera as far as being interviewed, but he allowed me to take his picture. He actually went out to the gas station guys to get gas for his generator, but they are doing their very best. As far as what's going on, let me turn off the light just to show you how dark it is. The only reason why you're seeing me is either my cell phone or because of the light on my camera. We'll turn it back on. Otherwise, it is complete dark. We're talking this neighborhood and other neighborhoods across the Bay Area. 20,000 customers all together. Keep in mind, a customer is one house, and each house they think about, they have about three to four people inside. So we're talking 60 to 80,000 people in the dark. And we got a chance to talk to people who run the grid. Here's what they had to say about the extreme heat and what's happening right now. We need to use every tool available to get even greater energy savings. We know it's been a long haul, and it's about to get even more difficult. But the efforts of electricity consumers and our partners at the utilities and state agencies are making a real difference. In case you're wondering, with the man that I spoke to, guys, whether or not he's very angry, because I know a lot of people are angry, saying we should be doing better than this. The answer is they're not angry whatsoever. They understand just the low demand and how complicated it is to bring power to people. So they're doing the best that they can, and you better believe best as they can includes a generator and also not opening up any windows until their power. And again, it's only a guesstimation that their power will be back at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Could be a combination of rolling blackouts or because the equipment simply overheated. They don't know. We don't know. We'll try to find out. But the bottom line is you don't see anything behind me because once I turn off the lights, I too will be in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bottom Will. line is brutal. You can't yep. even run a fan or your, uh, your, you can't even have your refrigerator going. No, everything is in jeopardy right now. During the blackout.